Hello and welcome to our submission to the United Cerebral Palsy and Global Partners Solar Power Wheelchair Competition. For Duncan McGillivray, Ankit Shah, Craig Angaro, Maria Michael, and Kayun Kim, I am Dennis Waldron. We are advised by Dr. Mool Gupta of the University of Virginia. Our wheelchair is designed to run indefinitely at low speeds. At full throttle, about 5 miles per hour, we see a range extension of about 42 percent. Our panels produce about 6 amps of power at the charging voltage compared to 8 amps from the wall charger. This means we can recharge the batteries almost as quickly as when it's plugged into the wall. At 30 percent depletion, the batteries will take about three and a half hours to reach a full charge. From 50 percent depletion, a little under six, and at 90 percent depletion, just over ten and a half hours. Our design includes a number of innovative and unique features, the most important of which is its ability to fold to a standard wheelchair area. This allows the user to navigate public transportation, doorways, and any other handicapped equipped area. Our lightweight and safe panels provide power to special charge controllers. These are able to charge a 24 volt battery pack with anything over 5 volts from the panels, which are themselves designed to run at 14 volts nominally. Combined with maximum power point tracking, our panels are able to charge the batteries with very high efficiency even under shaded conditions. Our design is also viable from a manufacturing standpoint as we use a simple design and proven technologies. Materials can be easily machined or purchased off the shelf. We use proven lead acid batteries over lithium ion or supercapacitor technology. Lead acid batteries provide a very large energy density per cubic area and weight. They're also low cost and reliable. The weight savings of a lithium ion battery are not significant enough to justify the cost and risk associated with moving to lithium ion technology, and supercapacitors are simply unnecessary. Batteries are able to source the necessary current levels. Throughout our design and build process, we ensured the use of best practices. We used large safety and design margins, including large gauge wire to prevent heating and electrical losses actuators that can lift about 20 times more weight than necessary to deploy the panels, and sliders that can hold 100 pounds at full extension to hold the panels in place. In general, our materials are all much stronger than necessary for the chair. We stayed with a 24 volt system to maximize motor efficiency and lifetime, and ensured simple intuitive control mapping for the user. Our standard footprint when the panels are folded means the user will lose no maneuverability compared to a wheelchair with no solar panels. Additionally, when the panels are deployed, they will provide shade to the user, keeping them cool on warm sunny days. Our single switch activation and actuation of the panels means that if they can operate the joystick to run the wheelchair, they can fold and deploy the panels with no help. We also kept safety in mind. There are no glass in the panels, which means they're lightweight and have no risk of shattering. The actuators will automatically stop in the stowed and deployed positions, eliminating risk of mechanical failure. We incorporated overcharge protection into our battery system, which eliminates fire risk and reduces damage to the batteries. Finally, we incorporated a seat belt into our design to keep the user securely in place at all times. We also kept the user's comfort and convenience in mind. We incorporated armrest, footrests, and an adjustable chair design into our wheelchair. Additionally, we supplied a USB power point for charging phones or running small gadgets such as fans to keep them cool on warm days.
Our team at the University of Virginia School of Engineering would like to thank you for your time and consideration.